stay out here for the first part of September. No waves to speak of, no wind to speak of. Bright blue sky should be a great crossing. So I hope you enjoy it. And on behalf of Lake Michigan Car Ferries, thanks for riding. So, before we start the new lesson, I'd like you guys to look up at the screen. Welcome to Stockbridge High School. Just like every other high school, we only have a set amount of time to spend in school every day. There's time to think, create, solve, but most importantly, time to learn. While that does not actually happen for most high school students, the Stockbridge Robotics Program gives the opportunity to do those things through hands-on learning. Opportunities. Hands-on, because in every other class you just have to do paperwork after paperwork, and in this class you can be hands-on and you you learn new skills that you wouldn't learn in necessarily other classes. I think I learn better and you learn so much more doing it yourself than just looking at someone else do it. It's something different. Uh, it gives the kids a chance to get out of the classroom. We get to make a lot of things and engineer different robots and get to do things that other classes don't get to do. And then we get to travel and use those for real tasks. Over Labor Day weekend, we went out to Wisconsin and went out and uh, dove on the Christmas tree shipwreck. school at Stockbridge we had to read a story around Christmas time about a ship that went down on its way to Chicago. It was called the Christmas tree ship. But the captain at the time of the loss was very famous in Chicago. He had earned the nickname Captain Santa. It just shows you know how the kinds of stories that can arise That's an awesome opportunity for you to talk about your experience with the ROV and going to see the shipwreck of the Ralph Simmons, um, kind of take them how they got, how you got there. Sure, it's cool to go see the wreck, and you know the kids had read about it while they were in elementary school, and the kids had come up with the idea for this mission themselves. I taught back in fourth grade, I see them now in 11th and 12th grade going out onto a ship with adults and really being the only ones on the ship that know how to operate the robot. I don't know how, I mean, I, they've gone past my level of thinking. To sit there as a teacher and look at that, I'm like, holy smokes. I mean, every student should have that opportunity to gain that maturity and confidence.
Yeah, because I, th- I think I could have, a, like, a big in- influence, and, like, the robotics program will have a big influence on how, like, her future, like, she can believe that, yeah, I can do exactly what she did. But. When I was in Emma elementary school, I think it was really cool that I got to do hands-on learning compared to other classes where there's not any hands-on type learning experiences. Well, I'm, I'm Jonah Husky Wright, and I'm in seventh grade. Connor and I'm in sixth grade. Probably the favorite part of my day is this class because I feel that I can really express what I'm doing and like, um, like, like creativity. Yeah. What, what is this? Stem building, figuring stuff out. Yeah, you like all that stuff? Why? Well, I just like uh, building stuff. I got a big tote of Legos in my house, and I like to build cars and all that. Yeah. My dad, for the last 15 years, has been working on cars, and I've always had an interest in it. You cut that first start doing robotics? Fourth grade. Well, I first started doing the middle school robotics program in seventh grade, and then I continued in eighth grade, and then eventually did um, r and stuff in ninth grade. Things that we haven't done before. Mm-hmm. I like it when we have different variety in the classes and other things that we can do. Yeah. part that that's coming up is probably the coolest part for the community the high school kids are going to give back to the elementary school and they're going to go tell their story to the elementary school students after they read the Christmas tree shipwreck book to them so it's not like the kids are on these projects and they're trying to get a, run away from Stockbridge they're actually giving back to the community the whole time they're doing the project and afterwards as well The Christmas tree ship means so much to us, so we wanted to share our passion and present our findings to the elementary students. Project, we were able to remember why we started robotics in the first place. Even if 
you don't share a passion with robotics, this story proves you can make even your favorite children's book a reality.